If you've been playing a little bit with FPV in the last year or so, and if you are especially into cinematic FPV, you know about a software that is called Real Steady Go. It's the software to go when you want to stabilize your video footage, right? But there's been recently a competitor, something called the Giro Flow, which uses the information from the Giro of the flight controller in order to try to stabilize your video. Up until now, that program has been very difficult to use because you have to use the common line and you have to do a lot of things to match the Giro information with everything else and etc etc but the cool thing is that they just came to the rc1 or the release candidate one and it's actually pretty cool because now it's not complicated to get your gopro video into this and get something stabilized and something good that you can use for some some other videos or show your friends or anything like that and i want to do a very quick video on this because i think it's worth it the tool is for free compared to Real, Ste uh, Real Steady Go that is like $100 or something like that. And I think the results are pretty cool. So come with me. I show you a little bit on the computer. What is this about? And maybe you can go and download it and try it yourself. Yeah, let's see. Okay, here we are in the GiroFlow website. This is what I was talking about. It's not 1.0 release, but it's the release candidate one, which means that they are very close to the that 1.0 release that you always want to have in the beginning. Cool things here. They have a full page now. They have very professional if you if you look at it. They explain the, the most important part that they're explaining, and it's what I wanted to show you is that now they have kind of uh, a good interface where you can change a lot of parameters, you can see a lot of things what's happening and take care of what you're doing with your video. So um, let me show you the app itself. This is the app. You can find it in Linux, you can find it in Windows and you can find it in Mac. That's one thing that's starting very good, right? And then you see here, that, for example, you open your file or you throw your file into this window and then you have the information directly of the file that you can see very easily, very professional. In, this, in the case of this specific file was taken with a Hero 6, a GoPro Hero 6. And then you see that the information is also here. So because this is a GoPro, the information of the Giro is in the video. And then I can go on uh, in the synchronization area. I click on the auto synchronization and the, the app does the job, right? Like it marks the things that it needs to mark and the points that it needs to, to mark. Here in the stabilization area is where you are going to say how smooth you want it and the different parameters that you can use which again, if we compare this with Real Steady Go, in Real Steady Go, you barely could change something. Here you have a lot of control of what you're doing. If you don't want to crop, if you want to crop, what format you want to export, if it's 264 or 265, or even ProRes, if you are editing this later in, uh, in another app. You can decide the output ratio. Um, and again, this is fantastic, right? Okay, now, here we have an example. I took one of the worst videos that I could take to show you because it was super shaky, right? And this is the original, this is the result. You see that I selected to crop it and then we run this a little bit and you're gonna see the big difference, right? So I would say that the tool is pretty cool. And again, it's free. You saw the interface, which is great. What's not to like? I am pretty excited about this because mainly if you think about Real Steady Go, the number one, it's pretty expensive. Number two, the interface was very old. Um, and this one, it's very professional. It lets you change a lot what you're doing. The results are pretty good comparable to Real Steady Go. And it's for free. So what's not to like about it, right? Why don't you go download it? I have the link on the description of the, of the video. 
give it a try and come back and comment what do you think about this tool is it going to replace real steady go for you in my case i think it's pretty clear i'm liking it and i think i'm going to start using this one instead of real steady go from now on so this is what i have right now thank you for watching and see you soon